Hello everyone. Welcome to the online writing retreat, Pencil and Sword. I'm Arkudel, and I'm going to be your host for tonight, as always. Uh, tonight, we're going to be doing a little bit of writing uh, together based on the prompt over there on the left. Um, today's prompt is about write about a time you got lost, physically, mentally, emotionally. You can write about anything you want. Uh, I'm going to be writing about a time I got lost in Japan, where there was a kind of a little translation mistake, and I got myself very confused and very, very, very lost. <laughs> I was lucky to dig myself out of that one. Um, that being said, uh, how's everybody doing tonight as we start to warm up and get ready to do a little bit of writing? For me, I am beat today. It is Thursday morning over where I live. I have a 6.30 a.m. class that I just knocked down. I finished about 8.05, ran back over here, and just barely like set up my channel, launched it, and uh, I'll be with you guys for about an hour today. Good to have everybody hanging out. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do... I think we will... Ah, Toreshi, thank you for the host. Really appreciate you guys doing that for me. Um, I hope more people come and uh, do a little bit of writing with us. Um, as always, for anybody new to our channel, uh, we are going to go ahead and we're going to do this particular prompt for about today, maybe 25 minutes. And at the end of 25 minutes... Hey, just great! I just great. That's a great question. I think it's too early in the morning to answer that one yet. <laughs> but how about how about you? How are you doing otherwise? Um, so we're gonna be writing for about twenty five minutes. Afterwards, uh, you can either choose to post your story or your poem or your writing over in chat, and I'll read it. You can come into my Discord and share it there. Or, uh, if you want to do it by voice, you can jump into the writer's corner on my Discord and you can share it live with everybody. And I really love hearing people share their pieces. <laughs> I suppose I didn't need to ask, right? Okay, with all that set aside, let's take that prompt. Uh, you guys can see me writing live. Uh, if you have any questions about my writing or if you want to know, like, why did you use this word, my answer will probably be because I'm, I'm half asleep and I'm just rambling. But if you want to know any details about why I'm doing things a certain way, I love answering those kind of questions. All right. Let's put about 25 minutes down. I think that'll give us plenty of time to, to hash this out. Good luck, everybody. Good writing.
I hope everybody's got an idea to work with. We're about five minutes into this prompt. I'm a little bit stuck on this, but uh, I'm going to push through.
going to leave the prompt over in the chat because I'm about to scroll down past it in case anybody joins us and wants to uh, wants to join in. We got about 15 minutes left. Hey, Udi. See? That's why I posted it over there. How you doing, Udi? Good to see you. We're working on a prompt right now where uh, right about the time you got lost. And that can be physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever you'd like to write about. Uh, for me, I'm writing about when I got lost in Japan, my, my first, like, second week, uh, somewhere in that realm, my first month. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but you're welcome to do that. Uh, we still have about 15, I can even give like 20 minutes left on the prompt. Uh, like, take your time, do what you want with it. I'm very curious. Thank you for the host. It's very sweet. Really appreciate it. <laughs> what a day, what happened? I'm doing, uh, as, as I told Just Great, I don't know how I'm doing yet. It's too early in the morning. It's Thursday. I had a I had my 6:30 a.m. class and uh, I survived that and uh, my students are great early in the morning but last night I I got a new class so I was teaching like 6:30 p.m. until 10 p.m. and it just it took a little extra piece out of me I'll recover uh, give me a week and I will uh, be back on my feet. That being said, as we're rolling into things, <laughs> I get it. Um, yeah, it stays kind of one of those days for me. I've got to uh, travel out. It's cold today. It's it's almost uh, almost freezing outside. And I gotta uh, travel out to a company class today, and I'm dreading that. Come on, Capital, work with me. No! No, just little letter. Yes. Darn thing. Uh. Don't do this to me, Google Docs. Damn traitor. <laughs> you guys can see me foolishly opening menus, and that's not intentional.
<laughs> Take about another uh, 10 minutes to work on this prompt. Uh, eight, nine minutes. Um, go ahead, flesh it out, do whatever you want to do with it. Um, if you have to, f if you happen to finish early, like you just do a quick little essay, um, go ahead and just write about another time you got lost. Um, I think in our life we've spent more than a, more than one lost moment. Ha, <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. 
Take another uh, three or four minutes, guys, and we'll we'll start looking at what we have. We'll probably wrap uh, today's stream up a little bit early because I'm not 100% today, but I think it's important to write a little bit every day no matter what we do even even if it's just a couple paragraphs um, getting it down and getting it done and getting in that rhythm uh, has been really helping me since since I started doing this we've been we've been running for I think this is the eighth broadcast not the eighth it's been about eight days so sixth sixth seventh broadcast regardless um, I'm definitely feeling, even though I feel like garbage this morning, uh, getting here and uh, just putting some words down on the page is really helping me feel a little bit better about the world.
<laughs> All right, guys, go ahead and uh, finish up your ideas. Anything that you've been working on and anything that you want to share. It doesn't have to be a complete thing. I got lucky. I, I decided to wrap things up right at the very end. Um, that being said, uh, if you would like to share, please let me know over in the chat. Uh, I really hope you guys have something. That being said, let me share mine. I went literally. Uh, in my case, my life is a kind of disaster in many ways. I love it, but I do tend to get myself lost. Easy Busy can testify to that. I've gotten her lost in the mountains in Japan. Awesome, just great. I've gotten her lost in Buya, which is a ancient capital city in Korea. I can't remember where else I've gotten her lost, but I'm sure it's been many other places I've, I've managed to uh, lose her. And uh, she's much more level-headed than I am. So left to my own devices, I tend to get myself in trouble. So let's see. Uh, here's what I wrote. Unknown streets. Unknown people. The cars passing by came as repeated shocks. I looked one way and found danger coming the other. Staring at a karaoke bar I'd never seen before, wedged between a hundred yen store, the Japanese equivalent of a dollar store, and a tobacco shop, I realized how well and truly screwed I was. My day had started off with a degree of excitement. In a rare turn of events, I had a date with a beautiful, energetic girl by the name of Kyoko. I'd only been living in Japan for a few weeks, and my fortunes had already begun to change. Many people thought I was crazy for studying abroad. I was a country boy from northern New Hampshire, the Bible Belt of the frozen north. My Japanese initially consisted of the word baka, or fool, and not much else. My professors questioned why an English major would choose to go to Asia instead of, say, England, and were quite scandalized by my arrival among business, language, and culture majors. No one really expected me to make it. At that moment, I agreed. It's said that more dangerous than ignorance and too much knowledge is having the precise amount of knowledge necessary to cause one's own disaster. I had not spent my first two weeks idly. I wanted to learn Japanese and threw myself into my studies. Though it had yet to yield powerful results, I did learn a few things. School, lunch, desk, and post office. It was there that I found tragedy. You see, the Japanese word for post office is yubin kyoku. The word for where is doko. And my friend's name was kyoko. A perfect sentence for one lost like me might be yubin kyoku wa doko desu ka? Or literally, where is the post office? A person with a caveman sense of grammar like me might might say, Yubin Kyoko, Yubin Kyoku, Doku, or Post Office, where? Sadly, I'm made of less linguistic material than that, and in my nervous confusion, I began juxtapositioning syllables. The first person ignored me when I asked, Yubin Kyoko, Doku? The second seemed quite put off when I spouted a nonsense word combined with the word for poison. She pointed in a random direction, and I followed it until I was certain she was out of ear eyesight and earshot, and asked somebody else the same. He also pointed me along, and I trundled forward. Minutes crawled into a good hour, and though the adventure yielded all sorts of wonderful opportunities to scout out new restaurants and shops, at that, mo at that point I was quite late for any sort of date, and I'm an idiot and no Japanese good, is not an excuse most girls, or people, accept. There was a worker handing out flyers for a nearby restaurant. I decided to give asking one final chance, and, as I mumbled my garbled curse, she quirked an eyebrow at me. I'm sorry, she said in perfect English. I don't understand. Could you say it again? I felt tears, like genuine tears, 
Salvation come in the form of a mascoted half-bunny, half-cat abomination. I told her my story and she laughed, first correcting my arid vocabulary and carefully explaining the route back to the post office. She even drew a map for me on one of her flyers. When I arrived, Kyoko was well and truly gone. I don't blame her. I doubt I'd have waited either. My confidence may have been broken, yet it was reforged by a certain strength, the cool temper of survival, the knowledge that, come tomorrow, I would overcome the challenges set forth. I would learn. I would evolve. And yet, hearken back to what I said about knowledge earlier. The very next day, I confidently strode onto the train and traveled to the wrong city. True story. <laughs> Ended up in uh, Kyoto instead of Osaka. That was my first day in Kyoto. Was it a good day? <laughs> okay. That being said, just great. You volunteered. Would you would you care to share? Do you want to jump on Discord or would you like to just write it out? Looks like Udi posted something over in Discord as well. I'll let you go first, just great. If you if you care to. Okay, that's fine. Do what makes you comfortable. I'll uh, I'll let you do that, and then I'll let Easy Busy do hers. Or yeah, uh, I'll do Udi's, and then uh, if Easy Busy has something she'd like to share, she can uh, do that as well. I'd love to say I know exactly where I am and that I've never gotten lost. However, that wouldn't be the truth. Truthfully, I get lost daily. I allow too many distractions that halt progression on many goals I've set, both personally and professionally. I overwhelm myself with ideas, projects and stresses and lose focus. Prioritizing and sticking to goals would help. However, I continually let myself slip. I know I can improve and get to a place where I want to be. It's going to take strength, determination, and patience. But I can see a better future for myself. I've created a plan to follow, and it may take a few rewrites and a few stumbles. However, I'm confident this path will be worth the effort, and I will be able to take on the countless challenges life reveals to me. Very powerful, just great. Hmm. I like it a lot. Um, it reminds me a little bit of... Uh, I don't know if you're into animation, but have you seen uh, ReZero? That kind of... The, the rewrites reminds me a lot of... Uh, of that uh, story, that animation. Very cool. <laughs> right, Udi? Okay, I, I guess Easy Busy posted hers, so I'll, I'll do that and then I'll get to Udi if that's okay. Uh, it'll just keep things a little bit clearer for me. Let's see. It was my second month in Australia studying English after leaving my homestay. I just moved to a new apartment with my friend from Colombia. It was a very dark night. It was a rainy winter July. I got on the bus heading home. It was already very dark outside. The bus ran in the rain for a while. I tried to look outside so I could get out. It was hard to tell whether I was on a right track as it was my second day or something after moving in. I was pretty newcomer where I moved in and the darkness and rain disrupted my sight. Suddenly, the bus stopped. The bus driver turned around. He looked very concerned, asking, Where are you heading to? This is the terminal station of this bus. Turned out that I got on the wrong bus. 
The driver let me know how to get back to the city so I could grab the right bus to get me home. <laughs> I've been there. Been there, done that. Oh, poor Easy Busy. Poor Mihi. Thank you. Thank you, Mihi. And? Let me paste uh, Udi's over here. And I'm going to read hers out of the... Uh, out of Discord, because it's... She did do paragraphs. It's just... It looks like it doesn't want to keep that formatting. So, I'll go ahead and read it. As I turned the corner, dragging my tiny feet beneath me, I peered at what lie ahead. The room grew larger until it overwhelmed me. I brushed my cascading hair behind my ears. Cascading's a great word. I was filled with apprehension as I called out softly, Mom? But to no avail. I shuffled forward into the ever-expanding room, filled with strangers of every kind. Children were playing all around, but I did not feel comfortable to join in their games as I might on any other day. I pressed onward, scanning the crowds for any familiar face. I knew no one, and, I feared, no one would know how to help me find my mother, especially not the tall, gaudy women gossiping with one another. They had peered over their shoulders as I continued on my quest to find uh, my mother. I skittered past them quickly as I found their gaze to be very intimidating. Past a row of counters, onward towards a makeshift kitchen and dining area, a few rotund, I like rotund, it's one of my favorite words, older gentlemen sitting in large leather recliners heartily chuck chuckled amongst themselves. They didn't seem to notice me, at least not to the extent I noticed them. A girl of only four years old, my mind was quickly overtaken by nefarious thoughts. What if I never find her? What if she left me here with all of these strangers? Where will I ever find that bowl of cheese puffs? And on the cycle went. <laughs> as suddenly as I found myself alone in the world, I stumbled into an archway. Beyond the archway, a long hallway was adorned by dimly lit chandeliers. I straightened my dress and collar, took a deep breath, and continued through the archway and into the hall. Mom, I whispered at each door, until much to my surprise, one of the doors swung open and knocked me across the width of the hallway. <laughs> oh. I fell defeated, and I began to sob quietly, when what happened next could only be described as serendipity. Beyond the equally startled young woman who had opened the door was my mother and my father, chatting with a small group of adults in the bright office room. Poor Udi, you got pinballed. <laughs> and yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> yes, it's true. She does get lost. Even nearby, she gets lost. It's amazing. Then again, I get lost all the time, too, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, Udi. I get lost a lot as an adult, also distracted by all the lights and the shiny things. I uh I, I still haven't been to many cities in America. I have here in Korea when you go to restaurants there's a button on the table. And if you press the button, it will sound a bell in the kitchen so people know to come out and uh, handle your table. And the first time I saw that button, I had no idea what it did. I'd never seen one before. So I, kind of like you, Udi, you know, beep. 
and I could, nothing happened. So I wailed on that button a good like 15, 20 times, and uh, <laughs> the uh, restaurant staff came out, and they did not look happy at me. I guess I uh, was just like ding, 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 ding in there <laughs> in the kitchen. So yes. Well, I mean, it, it's a big red button on the table. I thought maybe it would be a transformer or something really cool, and not a chop shop kind of deal. But I refer to it now exclusively as the magic button. I don't know. Do do they have those kind of buttons on tables in in the U.S.? I, I honestly don't know. Um, <laughs> that being said, whether whether the answer is true or not, I think I'd better cut the stream short a little bit today. I've kind of just got to lay down, rest, and not die. Sometimes, oh, okay, they are. I think it's really useful now that I know what it does. Sometimes it's hard to get the attention of the staff, especially as a forwarder. Um, <laughs> just great. Huh. Yeah, see, the countryside, we, we're lucky to have... Um, we're lucky to have menus and not just stuff written on the board, scrawled up somewhere. And just great. You don't have to worry about uh, pressing the wrong button or flipping the switch. I think that's part of the experience. You get to learn new things. Like, how can I make the doctor more angry than the doctor normally is? How can I get the nurse to jab me with a needle many, many times? That being said, uh, we'll end things a couple minutes early today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, Udi, just great, and easy busy. I really appreciate you all sharing. I'll be back here tomorrow. To say bill me for flipping the switch? Uh, probably not. They'll probably charge you for, uh, like, eight injections with a needle when they decide to poison you, but, you know, that's what insurance is for. Wow, if you've never been outside the U.S., Udi, you, you've got to come, come over, visit Korea, visit Japan, I'd be happy to show you around. Um, it's... The U.S. is so, uh, yeah, the, the U.S. is so itself. Like, like, I've been around the U.S. and it is itself. But once, once you venture outside, it's such a, uh, such a different world um, in a good way. You know, we, we get lost, we have these experiences, but... Um, Figuring out that the world is so different is, is so valuable. Um, so don't coop yourself up in the States forever. It goes for everybody. That's exactly what it is. Eye-opening. It's a good way to describe it. Mm. Japan, Ireland, Africa, Egypt... Japan's awesome. Um, if you ever get the chance to to visit Japan, let me know, and I will uh, I will make a special trip over there to help show you around. Um, Osaka and Kyoto are are my areas. Outside of those, I'm completely useless. I I have no idea what's going on. But Osaka and Kyoto, I know uh, I know well enough to get you lost in the mountains. But to get you unlost from the mountains. <laughs> uh, 
that being said, guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight. We'll wrap things up. Uh, Udi, if you're happening to scream uh, later on tonight or tomorrow morning for you, I will be sure to drop in. Same with you, Just Great, if I happen to see you around. I'm trying to convince Easy Busy to start streaming too, but uh, we'll see what we can do about that. She's she's kind of a fashion designer, so uh, I think it'd be pretty cool to have her on creative. Who knows what else? I, I might make her play some games. Scary games. <laughs> Watch her have a heart attack live on stream. <laughs> Thank you, Udi. Thank you, Just Great. Thank you, Mihi. Easy Beasy. Have a good night, everybody. I'll see you soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Always my pleasure, Just Great. I'm happy to be here. There we go. All right. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>